Adding mixed numbers is similar to adding fractions, except we'll be adding fractions as well as the whole numbers, but we do have to be careful that when we add the fraction parts that the fraction is not an improper fraction. We can't express an answer as a mixed number where the fraction is improper. So I think it's helpful to write this vertically to begin with. So we have 2 and 4 fifteenths plus 3 and 1 sixth. The first step in this type of problem is to obtain a common denominator and hopefully the least common denominator using our denominators of 15 and 6. So the least common denominator is going to be the least common multiple of 15 and 6 which is the smallest number that is divisible by 15 and 6. And that would be 30. So we want to write both of these fractions with a denominator of 30. So multiply this first fraction by 2 over 2. Notice how 2 over 2 is like multiplying by 1. And if we multiply 6 by 5 and the numerator by 5, notice how both fractions will have a denominator of 30. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We're going to have the whole number is 2, and this is going to be 8 thirtieths. And here we're going to have 3 and 5 thirtieths. Now it's important to remember that we are adding, so we'll start by adding the fractions. Again, notice how we have a common denominator, so the denominator is going to stay 30 and we'll add the numerators. 8 plus 5 is 13, and now we'll add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So we have a sum of 5 and 13 thirtieths. A couple things to check. Notice that this is a proper fraction, meaning the numerator is less than the denominator, and also that this fraction does not simplify. 13 is a prime number, therefore the numerator and denominator do not have any common factors. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, the first step is to write this vertically, so we have 5 and 3 fourths plus 8 and 5 sixths. The next step is to determine the least common denominator using 4 and 6. Well, we could always multiply 4 and 6 to get 24 and use 24 as a common denominator, but the least common denominator would actually be 12. 12 is the smallest number that is a multiple of both 4 and 6. So we're going to multiply 3 fourths by 3 over 3. We'll multiply 5 6 by 2 over 2. Again, notice how both denominators are now equal to 12. So here we're going to have 5 and this will be 9 twelfths. And here we'll have 8 and 10 twelfths. So now we'll go ahead and add, starting with the fractions. Again, we have a common denominator, so we'll add the numerators. 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. And here we have 5 plus 8, which is equal to 13. So this is the correct value of our sum, but it's not in the correct form. We can't leave a mixed number where the fraction part is an improper fraction. So what we're going to do now is take 19 twelfths and write it as a mixed number. To do that, we'll divide 19 by 12. There's 1 12 and 19 with a remainder of 7. So that tells us that 19 twelfths is equal to 1 and 7 twelfths. So what we're going to do is take our whole number 13 and add the mixed number for 19 twelfths, which was 1 and 7 twelfths. So our sum in the correct form is going to be 14 and 7 twelfths. So this is the main thing we have to watch out for when adding mixed numbers. When we add the fraction parts, if the fraction is an improper fraction, we have to convert it to a mixed number and then add it to the whole number.